Good morning. Um, so today, uh, carrying on with uh, rebuilding uh, Snippet Pixie in Golang. Um, currently working on the command line interface, which talks to a new Dbus server daemon. Uh, so let's uh, get the IDE open. Uh, so yesterday we were writing some tests, um, or fixing up some tests, um, that just exercise a little ping command on, on the dbus server. And so on the dbus server, um, when it gets uh, pings called with some expected response, it returns it. Um, if that's empty, it just returns pong. Um, and then in the client, the CLI, um, we've got the same function basically, what we expect. Uh, it calls the dbus service, uh, which is set up up here. Um, let's expand that. I have to turn that auto um, collapse off, I think. Um, yeah, uh, get some sort of uh, response stored here, um, and then displays it at the moment. Once you get back into the main, wherever that is, there it is. Uh, so. It says, where is it? Yeah, there we go. Ping went that. That's all it's going to do. So that's fine. Um, now I've just noticed that in my little tests, uh, my comments are now wrong. Um, for example, this is definitely wrong. It says default pong set as ping response. Because we uh, did a little refactoring. We had four blocks before. Um, I've just made it into data driven now. So I just pass in um, some args, uh, the command I expect, and then the response. Uh, so the argument that's going to be used by default when we pass the, uh, uh, the command line into, uh, options. Um, and now this is all wrong. What a shock. Comments not staying in sync. Never happens. Um, right. Uh, let's just quickly update these because um, they need to be a little bit more generic. So let's say um, expected command name. Expected Okay, so when we run this, it should just pass. So let's just break it and see what happens. So let's break this one. I'll just make it X. So now it should complain about the command. Yeah, ping is not equal to xing expected command. That's fine. If I Fix that and then change this. Um, I wonder if just doing, hopefully that's right. Hopefully it tests the case. Yep. Wibble is not equal to wibble in expected arguments. That's fine. Good. Uh, let's make sure that's now fixed again. Cool. And then if I really break things, 
Um, so let's do this. So we don't have an X at the moment. Let's see what happens when we break it really bad. There we go. Unknown shorthand flag X. So flags passed. Okay, yeah. So we're getting an error there. Um, this is thrown here. Um, so that's working as expected. Uh, one thing I haven't got a test for is well, I've got a test for it, but I haven't got an easy way of breaking that. Um, or could I suppose a quick test here I could so this is the function that we're getting that we're calling during that test if okay if i broke it here would that actually would the flags i've written anything to output for that if i break that there let's see no so in that case Oh, am I breaking things? No, I'm not. Uh, okay, quickly break that, put that back to not returning an error. Let's see whether that makes a difference. Yes. Ah, but that's the expected command. There's no output. That's what I want. I want to see output. I'm not worried about it. That's cool. Um, how about well, I guess I could just write to it. What's an easier way? Could probably just do something like this actually. Well, let's, let's say I accidentally accidentally log something here. I think that's Sarah the other year. Uh, no, okay, that's not going to work. Let's do, okay, let's see what I can do on the out. Out dot. Right. Uh, 
Can I just do a string here? No. How do you write something to... It's a by stream. All this just to test something that doesn't break. Um, let's find out how I do... How do I handle white in bio writers? Nope. Go to tool again. Find the menu. It's probably not going to be enough there. Okay, let's just go to the packages. Yeah, right string, just okay. That's easy enough. So this is gonna it's not gonna like it. Right string to out ribble. Um and I need to grab All those things. Don't want it, and I don't want that. Why are you complaining? <laughs> okay. So that will break, hopefully. Let's put that back to what it should be. So we shouldn't get any errors, but we are going to write something out before the function exits. So I'm hoping that this breaks here. Yeah, wibble. Let's just double check that. Because I was using Wibble elsewhere. Yep, yeah, Wibble Wobble was not. Yeah. Should be no output expected. A little bit more. Yep. Expect. Did. Okay. Did you mean? Okay. Let's change that then. Expect pretty output. Is that going to be better English? Supposedly. Okay. Right. Uh, let's get rid of my duff test code there. Make sure everything's clean. 
saved, run, pass. Good stuff. Well, that just to fix them. But anyway, at least I've tested that a little bit better. Uh, so let's just commit that off. Okay. Right, well, let's get on and do some actual real stuff now then. So, so far we've, um, all we've done is ping. Um, and there's plenty more to be done. Um, so, this is going to get quite big, this run command, if I keep piling stuff in here. Um, but do we care? Not the moment, I suppose. So what, um, What's the usage? Let's cut it out. So the actual this is the real snippy pixie that already exists written in Vala. So I've got a bunch of things I already do. Um, some of these things are can't be done at the moment because I haven't done the GUI. So these two ain't going to happen yet. Um, start. I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, I need to work out how to. Um, that's more of a management of the demon. Um, not bothered about that at the moment. We'll get to that later. That's quite a, a later thing. Stop again, management of the demon. Um, again, or to start management of the demon, whether um, it should come up on startup. So this is all kind of uh, system D probably stuff um, or whatever is being used by whatever system uh, Snippet Pixie is on. Um, so it will be OS specific. Status. Show the status of the other exits with status to zero if one in, one if not. Well, that's actually a variation of ping. So I could probably knock that off actually very quickly. Um, so it's that's quite good actually, that's an easy one. So that's basically a ping without any output. And it's the exit status that differs. That's quite a good exercise, I think, to do in a minute. Um, and then we've got um, export and import. Well, we haven't actually got any way of putting um, snippets into the system yet, so they're kind of redundant at the moment. Um, force is um, something to go with import. Uh, version, we could do that probably. And then this comes for free. Uh, so if I do, um, yeah, so if I do go run main dot dbus. We'll get that already. Um, this, this is a bit because I'm doing go run here. Obviously, it's not quite what you want. Uh, can I just build? Um, I take it go go help build. 
I think I can just do an output. Yeah, go bid output. Let's try that. So I really need to do make files, but I'll do that some other time, I think. Um, go build minus o snippet pixie. Now we have a binary. Snippet pixie. Nothing. Didn't do anything. Yay. Uh, so what's the status on that? Zero. Um, if I do, there we go. So that's fine. Ping string, blah, blah, blah. Ping the daemon for expected response string. Dink. Okay. P flag help requested. Hmm. Might have to do something about minus H there. Um, so really what we want is... So at the moment, this should work. If I do ping, ping went pong, um, because I do have the daemon running. Um, and then if I do status, unknown flag status. OK, let's fix that. So. Let's do this. Let's make a test. Oops. So we're going to want in this case, I think I'm going to stick with just long on this one. Yeah. We've got lots of S's there, so I don't really want to do like minus S. Status is good enough. I can see me removing the minus P for ping actually at some point. But anyway, um, so let's do do this. Need the status command. It's got a different output. Um, and I don't expect any arcs. So what do I do there then? Am I handling that at all? I suppose it'll just not be set. Hmm. I think... I don't think I need to do... data driven here I've only really got the one option
could test precedence here. In fact, fact I'm missing a bit of a trick here what we could do is just data drive this make it non ping specific so right so that works that should work as is now Now, what I want to do is I want to test multiple args to a command, including null or like empty. So really, This too needs to be a slice. Um, and we're expecting in this case a slice of string. Yeah, okay. So So this is now going to be a slice coming in. So so that's now plural and does that work? Does is equal do a test of a slice against a slice? Let's find out. Apparently so. That's handy. Uh, so let's break this. Uh, so just, just to make sure. So it's now for some reason, uppercase in the first arg. On that, does it break? It does. Brilliant. Okay. Control Shift F10. Control Shift F10. Cool. Pass. Yeah, I think that's a good move. Um, that. to be added. Get ignore. Thank you very much. Because eventually I will make that into 
the executable. I think while we're at no, we'll do that later. Uh, right, okay, so that's good. Um, quickly commit that because that's going to be useful from now on. Make sure I plans test more generic and data driven. Okay. So now I can add another line. Let's do something like this. Status. I expect status and I expect an empty slice. This should now fail because we don't have any handler for status. Unknown flag status. Just what we expected. OK, cool. So now let's implement status. Which is actually a pseudo ping. So we are going to need some new stuff here. Um, basically need just these three Change out ping the status. Status the demon for expected response. Um, <laughs> actually, I've got. this bit of verbose oops show status of the application exits with status zero if one in one if not hmm. get status of the Damn. Exit stage two, funny, what I thought I'd do. I just need this to be 
Ja, das war wanted. Das war wanted. Das ist Status. Bill. There's no shorthand. So Bill var in the status, take out the shorthand, and the default is false. Status usage is set there. I think I can just do If status command equals ping. Hmm. Not true. Status done. I kind of need to actually. I need to exit or this might need to be more of a switch. I'm like getting that down there. Yeah, I've got to be careful here because what if someone puts both ping and status on the command line? What do I want to happen? Do I want it just to do the ping or just the status? I think in this case, Ping probably trumps status because ping should also return an exit status. But as it stands, what would happen is we'd come along and we'll go, all right, command is now ping, and I'll give it the thingies. Oh, and there's also status set, so I'll set the command to status. But status will now have args that it doesn't need. Um, so 
maybe a switch is better here. There's two, I mean, there's other way. I mean, could just return straight after. But I want a better switch, might be a little bit cleaner looking. Because it is really right. It's only so many, you can only do one thing at a time. That's the whole point of the CLI. So, okay, let's do a switch. It's going to be unadorned. Uh, so I can look about here so I can do this. And then I can take that out. And then I can take that to case. So case flags changed. Do this. Case status. Do this. Okay. In my tests, if we get status, shouldn't have any args. Okay, so I think we're okay there. Just test that. No. Oh, interesting. So it returned nil. Huh. So a slice. So that is going to be nil rather than an empty slice. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So in theory, this is nil now. Test it. Pass. OK. Let's chuck in a few more tests then. So what happens if we do status Uh, actually, no. let's do this. We'll do ping. And status. So we're expecting still ping to win now. And if we do the reverse, just in case, don't think it'll make any difference. But just, you know, peace of mind. It's from that. Ooh. Unknown flag ping. Oh yeah, of course, they will come in as different. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they're different uh, arcs, so. Okay. Try that again. Pass. Good. Okay. We 
should probably implement it though. Um, so we've got that, but we actually need to run it now. So what we're going to do That's interesting actually. How do I deal with that? It is different. Let's do so. What I'm thinking is um, because the demon's not running, I'm going to get the usual, we're going to get an error. Um, So, so this is taking a string. I don't want to give it anything. I just want Pong back. I'm going to short circuit out the whole app here. That's not great though, is it? Yeah, see, I don't want this to happen. I don't want to display anything. I just want this if it's not working. So I do want to just short circuit. So what we'll do here. Is. We will. If. Uh, is not equal to nil or response is not equal to pong exit one otherwise we just want a normal exit which should be status zero think. I need to start testing this function. Um, but anyway, um, right, so we've not made any changes that should break that. Now, let's do a quick test. Uh, 
That's wrong, okay. <laughs> okay. So if I do a snippet pixie status, I go. Oh. Interesting. Stick me up and run in. Test time. All right. Okay, so that's not what I expected. I mean, I could do. If I force the issue here. Let's see what happens then. Build. Run. Check. Oh. Interesting. Something is not happy. Should be okay. Oh, of course. course um, I'm not expecting a response so from ping so if it's not that that's what I've passed in that's what I expect back Interesting, that's not really correct. No, that's not correct. The response should be pong. Right, so this is wrong, this test here. But it's not really, because we always get a pong back if we don't pass anything in.
Okay. I think what I'll do is at this point, we've passed the expected. But if the expected is equal to empty, then what we really expect is pong. Because when we do a ping, we get a response. And it should always be what the service gave back. And it should be Pong. Yeah. So, and here, if we pass nothing, definitely we'll expect Pong back. So if we get an error, or we don't get Pong back, Exit 1, otherwise exit 0. Although I'm going to take that out for a second because I don't think we need to do that. So, tests. Still run, still pass. Build. Run. Test, yay, okay, cool. Kill demon. Run. Test, one, excellent. That's what we expected, good stuff. And so, and of course if we do ping, it should go bang now. The name, blah, 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 yeah, okay. Uh, but if we run the daemon, ping went pong. Great. Okay. Um, no, that's good. But that has shown me that um, I need to be testing the run command run function, sorry, um, because just, I mean, obviously, just testing the passing of the uh, flags isn't good enough at the moment. We need to actually test that the app does what it's supposed to do. Um, so take that out, simplicity. Let's commit that off. Oh, before I do that, um, what does help look like? Get status of the demon, exits with zero if run in one, if not. Ping the daemon for expected response string default pong. Um, yeah. That's the thing, actually. I need to make sure this is shorter. I'll do that next. I'll just clean that up in a sec. Status command. 
Ready? So really... This shouldn't really be a log. Um, unless I can do a log. Without date and time and stuff. Because this particular function should really just return the response to stand it out, which is whatever this is coming in out. So really, really, I could. do kind of what I did beforehand actually. Out dot uh hold on that was string thing. Where's the string thing? IO oh <laughs> IO dot right string to out response done. Although really I should catch the error there, hey. That was the second thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Just in case. Not that it makes much difference because the only way you're going to see what happened was by. Oh, I oh, was standard error? That's fine. Okay, now that's good. Yeah, now we're good there. Alright, so in theory. Should be able to do Pong. All it does is return Pong. Hmm. Kind of really need it to be a line. I guess I can just do a format print line. I 
Okay. So. Don't think. Can I just do that then? Can I just do warm up? Print line. See, I want it to go to a writer. No, oh, there we go. out and does that have to be well I guess it could just be a response eh? uh, what's the yes yeah that would be a little bit easier wouldn't it Let's try that. Perfect. I get, uh, and if I do this, still works, no problem. If I do, do ping. Good. If I take out daemon and do it again, and what's the status? One. Okay, so that does both. That's good. Just as expected, really. And if I do ping equals wibble, we get wibble back which is what we wanted. Perfect. Okay. That'll do. Okay. Ensure ping A line. That'll do. Okay, I'm running out of time now. That's cool. So we've added a new command and um, we've fixed up the ping. Uh, we've improved our tests for the uh, config in it. So it's now data driven and we're testing different um, flags. Um, good. Uh, that was useful. Um, so uh, that's me for today. Um, um, until uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, take care.